Welcome back to more days of prayer. Please join me in praising God. Today we will be moving on to the sea titles of Jesus. And we will be considering a very interesting title. Captain of our salvation. Paul mentions this in Hebrews 2 verse 10. I read. God for whom and through whom everything was made. Chose to bring many children into glory. And it was only right that he should make Jesus through his suffering a perfect leader fit to bring them into their salvation. Amen. My favorite author wrote in her book, Christ Lessons, page 156, and I quote, By his spotless life, his obedience, his death on the cross of Calvary, Christ interceded for the lost race, and now not as a mere petitioner does the captain of our salvation intercede for us, but as a conqueror claiming his victory. Amen. So, who or what is a captain? He is the person in command, the leader of the team. On a ship or an aircraft, the captain is in charge and can deny boarding to a person he deems unfit to board. So, if Christ is the captain of our salvation, what does that make him? He has the power to lead us unto salvation. He guides us along the way and he strengthens and sustains us. What's more is, he protects and subdues opposing forces, even more than a captain in the army does. And what makes Jesus a unique captain is, he suffers with his group. He also comforts and leads to the end. Amen. Remember who appeared to Joshua at the end of the journey from Egypt to Canaan? It was the captain of the host. He instructed Joshua exactly what to do to overcome the enemy. He's the one who told Joshua in Joshua 1 verse 7 to 9, I read, Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the instructions Moses gave you. Do not deviate from them turning either to the right or to the left. Then you will be successful in everything you do. Study this book of instructions continually. Meditate on it day and night so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Amen. Questions. Will you follow all the instructions of the captain? Will you submit the leadership of the captain? And will you accept his protection? It is my prayer that you will be under the guidance of the captain of your salvation. Amen. Let's move on to the prayer requests. Praise and thank God for his continuous providence. Praise him for his leadership and guidance in your life. Pray for strength to endure life's battles. Ask God to intercede on behalf of all who are facing Sabbath keeping issues. Pray for families and friends facing marital accommodation, financial employment and family issues. And pray for those looking for life partners. And don't forget to pray for the sick, the bereaved, and the aged, and the lonely. Amen. Let's pray. Dear Lord and Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for protecting us daily. We also want to thank you for letting us know through your word that you are the captain of our salvation. Dear Lord, I pray that you help all our families and friends facing any problems especially at this point in time lord please help us to be obedient to your word 
and help us to submit ourselves to you. I pray that you forgive us all our sins and continue to protect us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.